What's going on guys and welcome back to Forza Horizon 3 and another cross country car build. My vehicle today is the Land Rover Series 3. This was added in the newest car pack, the Duracell car pack. And I'm going to be checking out how it will do around the cross country course. Uh, it has 860 PI, which is the lowest PI car we have ever had on this series so far. Um, however, it's still got 1016 horsepower, which is pretty good. 1,155 torque. It weighs 1,317 kilograms, so it's a little bit heavy compared to the weight, probably why it's a low PI. Um, I put the 6.2 liter V8 in this car, and it is twin turbocharged. So let's see how the Land Rover does around the course. Alright, so we are here at the Redstone Cross Country Circuit to see how fast the Land Rover can go. We have six laps, to see how fast it can go. Um, and the current leader is the Radical RXC Turbo with a 53.921. So um, I don't, I'm, well, I'm, I'm pretty much 100% sure we're not going to be getting past that Radical because that is a very, very quick time. I can just tell from the acceleration here that we don't quite have the speed of, you know, that Radical or really any of the other cars, to be honest. Um, you know, it, I mean, we do have over a thousand horsepower, so you'd expect the speed to be pretty good, but um, it's actually not great. This feels very sluggish compared to some of the other cars. We've had a lot of cars weighing around around 1,300 kilograms, I'm fairly sure. Um, so, you know, with this similar sort of power, but for some reason this doesn't feel... This doesn't feel very nippy right now. I don't know what it is. Um, the handling is actually not too bad at the moment. Um, I suppose this car is, you know, supposed to deal, it's kind of built to deal with terrain like this. Maybe not to this quite extreme level, but, um, you know, it's, it's an off-roader. It's an off-road SUV type car, so, um, yeah, it could be alright. We're, you know, we're not, we don't, it doesn't feel like we're going that quick into there. I mean, we are like 120 miles an hour. Before we get on the brakes, I'm not really sure what other cars are doing, so it's it's kind of hard to say, to tell. Um, it the turning doesn't feel. I mean, it's not bad. However, it feels quite. If this car feels quite boat-like, which I suppose is to be expected. Um, but I mean, it's not it's not too bad. It's not really too twitchy. A little bit at times, but on a course like this, most cars are going to be twitchy. Um, so I really don't know, um, I, oh god, oh we're heading towards the wing, I knew that was going to happen and we can't bloody, re ah, that, that is very annoying, we're going to have a cracked windscreen for the rest of this run. That plane is the one thing on this track that I really don't like and I wish it wasn't there because it's just such a pain when you slightly drift to the left, you hit that plane and then it's buggered, I mean we have a cracked windscreen now which is making the visibility not amazing, I will be honest, we actually carry decent speed through there. Um, I'm going to try and take these barrels out to get them out of the way because that's the line that we want to take really through there. I can't remember what the slowest time is off the top of my head right now. I'm pretty sure it's in the 58s. So well we did a 58.7 on that first run from a standstill so I think we're going to beat, I think it's a Vauxhall Astra in the last place right now. Um, only had a little bit more PI than this actually, it may have been the second or the third lowest PI car. Um, the next one after that would be the Jeep. We're gonna, oh, we nearly hit the bloody wing again. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm aiming to go further to the right, but the car is dragging itself to the left, which isn't very good. Um, let's come around here. This lap's been not too bad, actually. Uh, how quick are we gonna be going? 57.2, that's, that's not too bad actually, that is not too bad. From what I remember, I think the Jeep is in the 57s. I can't remember off the top of my head. I think it is, but I'm fairly sure we have beat the Astra because from what I remember that was in the 58s. We get understeer through that corner and then a little bit of a twitchy, not really oversteer, but just you know a bit twitchy over the bumps um, going through the kind of tunnel area. Uh, we're not too bad over here. You know, this car's fairly easy to drive. It's fairly composed. There's quite a lot of understeer at points like around here it's not great, however, it's not too hard to drive. Um, it's not too twitchy, however, over those bumps there, it is a little bit... Oh, we've gone for a roll. We've gone for a roll. Okay, I think that's the second car to roll. Second car ever to roll in the series. I can't remember what the first one was. Might have been the HSV, actually, the GTSR, which is actually pretty far up the order. I think it's in, like, fourth or fifth place right now. Um, yeah, we've had a roll. This is our second to last lap now. Um, 
going very slow into this corner that time actually. I don't know if we can really go much quicker than that 57.2. I think that's a pretty respectable time, all things considered, you know, with the PI being down on this car. Um, and I mean, you can just tell by driving it, it just doesn't feel as quick as some other cars. Uh, which is kind of weird really because I mean it, it is up there with the power. It's got over a thousand horsepower We've had plenty of cars that have had less than a thousand horsepower, but I guess they've been quite a bit lighter than this car So um and newer. I mean this is this might be the oldest car I'm, Actually, I'm pretty sure it is the oldest car I've had on this series. Look, it's going towards the plane again. It it really wants that plane It really wants the plane. I don't know why this car is attracted to that bloody wing um Okay, I don't know if we're going quicker this lap. It was a bit scruffy, but it wasn't too bad. We may be going slightly quicker. Yes, very, very slightly quicker, but we've got this last lap now. Let's take more speed into this corner, about 90 miles an hour. It's not too bad. We can really carry about 95, 96, though. We did on one of those previous runs. We have to fight the understeer coming into that corner. Um, that's where I think it's losing a bit of time. Then we've got the run down here. I just don't think it's quick enough. Uh, brakes aren't too bad because we're not going quite as quick as some other cars, I don't think. Over this jump here, not too bad. Have to watch out for a little bit of twitchiness. However, it's fairly nice to drive. Um, got a battle with the understeer a little through there. However, if you get the line good like that, it's not too bad. Here we have to be careful because it gets twitched about a lot and it really pulls to the left. Oh, really close to that wing again. Um, through that corner, we're taking a bit of a tight line through there. Coming through here, this does feel like a better lap than the previous one. We might get into the 56s, however, I've overrun it into the last corner. Okay, we've actually gone to the 55s. Wow, that's very quick. I've gone too bloody far on as well. Oh well, we'll end it here then, I suppose. Um, how do you change it? There we go. Um, a 50. F wow, that's that's actually that's actually a lot quicker than I expected. I'm thinking that some of the cars. That um that I drove when I first started this series, they were in the 56s. I feel like they um could maybe need a rerun because um yeah uh that's that's a quick time from this car uh, a 55.789 will put the car into seventh place. What into seventh place? That's a bit weird. Um. Yeah, that's out of out of 16 cars, it goes into 7th place. So it's it's in the top 50%. That's not really what I expected from this car. Um, it doesn't feel like it has the... I mean, it has the power, but it just doesn't have the speed for some reason. It drives fairly nicely, actually. It's one of the better driving cars, which maybe is why it goes quick. But I did not expect that. We may have to run some of the older cars again. However, I don't know if that's... I don't think that's really fair. I think they should just go off what they originally did. So there we have it, the Land Rover goes into 7th place. And that is going to be it for this video guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed please go ahead, like and subscribe. Comment what other cars you'd like to see cross country car builds of in Forza Horizon 3. And I will see you guys in the next video.